What's up, boo? Gay? What's up, Taurus? What's up, baby? What's going on in the life of a bull? Before July 2019. Y'all making some 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 hell of decisions around this bitch. Hey, boo, hey, welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If it's your first time you're on my channel, hi, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I'm a cuss, all right? So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you. And guess who still loves you long time? This girl. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuz. We grow. We love. We share. We enlighten one another. We one big happy family around this bitch. Okay. Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the readings, all that. All that. A settle up. All of that. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. You guys, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the Sign of Taurus. I currently have a reading special that ends today. Don't worry, I got one cranking up tomorrow or the day after. Uh, but you guys, stay uh, stay tuned into that community tab because sometimes YouTube don't always get the notification. So I don't know if you guys got it, but I'm trying to get as many videos as I can get out so that we can have fairness or I may extend the sale until tomorrow. Okay, so y'all got two days. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all got two days. All right. So get up in there. Um, you guys, the messages may resonate with, um, the messages may or may not resonate. Um, take what does leave the rest, y'all. This is not a personal reading. It is a general. That personal reading information can be found below in the description. All right, so let's get it. For my sun, moon, rising Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Taurus. For the month of July, what I got for you all was self-imposed prison. Healer. Balance. Releasing illusions, facing your fears, projections, universal tests, revelations, karmic closes, sadness, soul mirror, missed opportunity, heart chakra. Y'all don't be read. I don't be understanding my own. When you in the meditate in a meditative place and getting intuitive messages for us, I be script the scribble and the scratch be fucking real. Force changes, mother issues, past life, pride, receptivity, fear of rejection, appreciation, self-mastery, abundant times. You can't manifest because it's blocked. Ooh, y'all, that came heavy. Safety, I'm sorry, safety net, selfishness, sudden wealth, financial blessings, Compromise, accountability, right? So if any of those intuitive messages resonated with you, this your message. I had to go get some water and drink down the whole thing before I did you guys' reading. It's the first time I ain't channeling y'all energy and get hungry in a long time, but y'all greedy asses. Um, but something interesting did happen with the, when it comes to the angel messages. I'm doing things a bit differently this month, um, the whole month. So, um. I didn't, I really, I, I got some signs when I was getting the intuitive messages, but I did not write them down because I really didn't feel that that was very, that y'all may feel like it's relevant, but it don't because ultimately caskets ain't got no damn bunk beds and another person can't save, you can't save your soul. If you're looking for saving, because I, I felt that the feeling of someone feeling as if they needed a savior. If you're looking for a savior, that motherfucker's not coming. You got to save yourself, period. All right. So the signs that did come out for you guys. For other signs, I've just been getting two signs that pop out. For y'all, it was four of them, okay? So these signs may be very imperative. The overall energy with the reading has to do with the Ace of Clubs. So some of you guys, this have to do with a new uh, a new opportunity, new love. Um, this could also have to do with the financial front. For some of you all, this has to do with the relationship, okay? But I definitely feel like there is some type of uh, sorrow or guilt or some type of sadness around the releasing of a situation here with the sorrow card, okay? So I definitely feel like some of you all are in this space of, you're kind of in your head. You, Some of you all, I'm here, I keep hearing self-imposed prison. Some of you guys are in this self-imposed prison because there's a need for you all to control the outcome. And there's an expectation of 
how you want things to go, how they should be going, what they should be doing, how people should be moving. And some of y'all are getting reality checks or someone in your energy is getting reality checks. But that's just not how shit goes. OK, someone needs to let go of control issues. I also am hearing comparison. OK, so someone um, is, could possibly be comparing you to another person or you could be comparing someone else to another person, which is causing a great deal of sadness. OK, I'm also hearing insecurities. OK, so some of y'all could be feeling pretty insecure um, around making an offer around a relationship. OK. Spirit is needing you to live in the now and let it go. You guys also got the letting go card, okay? That comes with the number eight. So eight has to do with infinity. It also has to do with karma. It also is the number of fate, okay? So for some of you all, if you're having to release situations with the damn great purge and this eclipse did not come to play, but come to slay. For shit that we was having issues with holding on to, getting rid of, um, and we were trying to control the outcome around things, the eclipse says, oh no, we are all vessels. So spirit will now use this situation, this person, this circumstance to get rid of your ass. And so because of that, there may be sorrow around um, this particular situation, okay? If you're having to leave a job, if you're having to leave um, your stability, I feel I'm hearing shaken stability, okay? So some of you all may feel as if your stability is being shaken or being snatched away from you. Some of you all may also feel as if you're being forced in the corner to make a decision, and it's making you very sad because you just want to be happy, Taurus. I feel that you want to be, you want to be, in, you want to live in peace, okay? So I'm going to read this, how this fell out, y'all. I started with the spiritual path messages and, and, and I felt that that was well needed because for some of you all there's an issue over control and change um, and being resistant to change and the change that is occurring is not happening to you yet it's happening for you because for some of you all you're comfortable and living in the space of unknowing you, you you found comfortable you found comfort in it for so long that now that you're hella uncomfortable it's causing this ripple of emotions you know and it's it's a need for you guys to face it to deal with it and stop trying to sweep shit under your bed because this eclipse and all of these damn retrogrades is saying no 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 give it to me even if i gotta shake your ass by the ankles like i'm taking your lunch money i want i need that okay the signs that uh fell out for you guys I got two particularly that fell out and they fell out on an angel message. Okay. So I'm going to read the angel message first and then I'm going to tell you what signs that both of them fell out on that particular card. What I got for you guys was relationship harmony. Archangel Ragio. Okay. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Taurus, there's a need for you to speak up for yourself, to set clear boundaries, to set standards, to set, to set, it's a, it, it's a need for you not to allow patterns and secular patterns of the same shit, where pretty much the same shit that you're, the same places and situations where you've been, okay? This Mercury retrograde be fucking me up when it comes to speech, but it also balances me out when it comes to my fucks around situations <laughs> so you guys gotta excuse me but my y'all mercury didn't come to play with my ass okay i don't know what it's fucking with the pisces the aries the libra or the gemini up in here but it's fucking with something okay i definitely feel like some of you all there may some y'all may be connecting with the grandmother or a mother figure this person could have crossed over to the other side. This person comes to bring you comfort. They're giving you, they're showing you direction during this time when it comes to speaking your truth, how to move in situations. This person is, I'm hearing playing chess. This person is assisting you in playing chess. For others of you, there is somewhere where you, you feel as if you, there's a, I'm hearing where I'm supposed to be. I don't know why I'm hearing, but when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad. Now that I want to leave, she's crying her heart to me. How could you let this be? I just need time to see where I want to be, where I want to be. Donnell Jones, I think that's his name. But yeah, um, you guys, some of you all are needing to make a decision. But either way, even the decision that you make, if there's an energy of feeling as if something or someone has to be hurt. And I feel that you want to hold the weight of that hurt. And Spirit is saying that's not your job. That's not your part. Your part is to trust, to know, to relinquish control, and to have faith greater than a mustard seed. And put your intention, your beliefs and your intention have to be in line, baby. Instead of seeing to believe. 
believe that in which you can't see to come to pass in order to be. Because spirit is there's an energy of working behind the scenes, the things truly believing in what you can't see. Faith is being tested. Your patience is being tested. Some of you guys feel as if you're stuck and you can't move. You're pent against the wall. You're backed up in the corner. Spirit is saying when you surrender, will you truly win? Because you will allow some of the burdens to lift from you. That's not even your part. Come on now. I brought the sun out. It's not your part. There's a need for you guys um, to truly, truly um, allow your throat chakra to be active during this time. Really speak. Stand in your authenticity. Some of you all are uh, restructuring your value system. Some of you guys are changing the way that you look at religion, your perceptions around relationships, your perception around um, how you are to attain stability. Is, is it my truth to work a nine to five? When I know I don't like the fuck to get up that early. I don't like traffic. I don't like to be fucking talked to before 10 o'clock. Yet I need to make this money. So there's a feeling of... There's a feeling of I have to, obligation to things that are making you feel dead inside. Because it makes you question, do you belong? Will this grow? Which puts you way the fuck out here mentally. And you're and, and, and because that discord is there, you're manifesting discord. There's a need for you to shift your perception. Around things instead of looking at the things, how what can go wrong, what fail, what I should have did. How can I grow from this? Why did I feel that emotion? What did that emotion? Why did that emotion of that situation, person, place, a thing trigger me? Where does the foundation of that hurt lie? Some of you all are hurt conditioning. I also heard mother issues, abandonment. Lack of trust, fear of rejection, poverty mindset. Next message you guys got was take your power back. There's a lot of healing energy around Taurus with this blue. Some of you all are needing to connect and go to the water. You may be being called to the water. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Where your thoughts dwell, then your reality, that reality of what you're creating is going to grow. You all are going through this state of self-mastery, mastering the self. And it will, it will assist you in being and moving away from that vibration of being an undercover overlover, losing yourself in another in another person, losing yourself in a job that's not your dream. You showing up because for a paycheck, not because you're passionate or that's your purpose. There's a need for you guys to reflect because in that reflection, in that true, in that true connecting with the internal self, baby, comes out something beautiful, something fearless. There's a need for y'all to face your monster under your bed right now. OK. The signs that fell out on relationship harmony was Pisces and Aries. Take your power back. Fill out with Leo. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Pisces, Aries, it's going to evolve. Could have that in their placements. I heard Rising and Venus. Scorpio. For some of you all, some of y'all with Aries being number one here, some of you guys could be having a new start or some type of renewal with an Aries, okay? Others of you, there is some type of faded destiny around either letting go or letting in or releasing a toxic pathway having to do with the Scorpio, okay? I keep hearing rising or Venus. Others of you dealing with the Leo, there's change that's needing to be implemented, and I feel that we're dealing with two stubborn two stubborn energies. There needs to be an ego death, okay? And if Leo is your rising, there needs to be an ego death or your Venus. And this is why the changes that are supposed to occur has been feeling stagnant, okay? Become the change in which you're trying to manifest. With the Pisces, I definitely feel some type of expansion. Some of y'all could be having babies with the up. Uh, could be finding out you're pregnant by Pisces. Congratulations, local up kids. Others of you, this is about 
the feminine energy expanding, allowing yourself to indulge in the feminine and masculine aspects of yourself. Because what I noticed is that I got two masculine energies here, two feminine energies here. So that could also be important to someone. This could also be a combination of or a coming together of the divine masculine and feminine with the twin flame union. I definitely feel like someone is trying to control things and that aspect of things is about to change to release some type of harmony, okay? Or to, to release some type of vibration of harmony within a situation, whether it's going to free you from a situation or offer you a whole new one. I do definitely feel the energy of 1010. Some of you guys may be seeing 1010. Some of you guys may also be seeing 222-444-888-777. For some of you all, 333 for sure. Okay, what messages do you have, my beautiful children? my bull, in love. Some of you guys also, some of y'all may have a, a father figure. This person, they're needing you to release the hurt around them. Some of y'all are holding on to the hurt around a grandfather, a father. This could have to do with neglect, abandonment. Someone could have crossed over without closure. This person is needing you to, they, they, they can't. They want you to get let go of this sorrow and release them because it's your vibration of sadness that's keeping them here. They can't release themselves knowing that you are hurting like that. Your hurt is keeping them here. Others of you, this person may be connecting with you uh, in your dream space. Some of you guys are mediums. For others of you, you're going to receive some type of confirmation via a rainbow, okay? So whatever you are praying about, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, look up, baby. Pick your head up. Look up for that rainbow. For some of you all, this has to do with your security, okay? Manifestations around your security. Some of you could all could also be wanting to offer something stable or receive a stable offer, okay? This could possibly... Uh, have be having to do with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. For some of you all, this has to do with your stability being shaken. Okay. For others of you, this has to do with you setting boundaries when it comes to giving to every situation out here. And some of y'all again, this have to do with boundaries, setting up boundaries. I can't give, give, give. How the hell can you expect some shit that you're not willing to give? Yeah. For others of you, this has to do. Some of y'all are going to receive some type of promotion at your job. And for some of you all, there, some of y'all, there's this fear around releasing something due to what has been invested, the work that has been put into a situation, money that has been put into a situation. Someone is feeling as if they have taken a loss. Yeah. Others of you, this has to do possibly with the reconciliation within Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do see that this offer can be stable, but I definitely feel like someone is needing to stand their ground. This could be you or another person. Someone standing their ground. This could involve, yeah. Someone wants to move forward and start something new. Some of you guys could be moving away or towards a Gemini Libra Aquarius to start something new. This could also have to do with the fire sign. For those of you who are reconciling with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, boundaries. Boundaries. Because I definitely see some reconciliation energy around earth. Okay. And fire. For some of you all, there are still things that are to be revealed that will be revealed to you. Uh, by the middle of the month, I'm hearing, in order to, in order for you to have this new beginning, okay? So I definitely feel like, yeah, for some of you all, this requires confidence. This requires strength. Some of you all, someone is not making a move due to the fact that they have this fear. You, this could be, this could involve someone who could have walked away. And a cycle is trying to come to completion, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with the weight that you're carrying. Possibly, yeah, possibly, this could be involved in a Gemini as well, y'all. Or a lover, soulmate. Some of you guys could be anxious. Mm-hmm. Anxious about how things will move forward with the Gemini. I feel like this person could be very cutting with words. Even though you guys do come together very great on a very good on a practical sense, I definitely feel like there's issues when it comes to someone being open and expression expressive about their love. Someone also feels as if someone loves immaturely, okay? Yeah. Some of y'all could be moving away from a Leo due to there not being the best communication, or there could be some type of uh, perspective shift during this time. 
like someone needs a motherfucking wake up call, which requires you to walk into this damn queen of swords energy. What I will not accept from your ass is this is this motherfucking half assness. There is a fear of opening up, being vulnerable. Someone wants to express their love. And it looks like to someone who could have walked away. This could also involve someone from a past life or a past partner. Someone who you also could have children with, I'm seeing. But someone is resisting. Either you, you are afraid that maybe this water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, may be resistant to you. Or you being resistant to this person. And it's causing somebody else to feel very insecure. Somebody is... Somebody is really um, affecting another person's self-esteem. Let's, let's clarify just a little bit. Overall, at the bottom of the deck, I definitely see healing the situation. Okay, so this could be healing a marriage, healing a situation where there was once turmoil. This could also be healing, um, healing possibly from a Libra, with the Libra. Why is the tower card here? Shit just jumped before I even asked. Yeah, for some of you all, things could possibly, some of y'all could be experiencing a tower moment around a, um, with a situation involving a Leo. Come on, puppy. Come on, because y'all, y'all puppy, okay? Some of y'all have a Sagittarius want to walk in and out your damn life when they feel like it because puppy ass is a Sagittarius. I know y'all see me let him out. He wants to come back in. He wants to run the damn house. But the issue is, he can't run the house while mama's doing readings. So he want to be up in here, see what I'm doing, see what my son doing, seeing what they doing outside. They popping firecrackers. He's scared of the firecrackers. Don't know what the hell he want to do. Some of y'all dealing with Sagittarius don't know what the hell they want to do. They know they love you. They just don't know where the fuck they want to be at. <laughs> Crazy. That was important for somebody because puppy is doing this for a reason. Some of you all, also, yeah, some of y'all could definitely be cutting off a of Leo. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Scorpio. And if there was a third party, this person could possibly be dealing with the Leo. You cutting that shit off. They're cutting that shit off. Somebody cutting that shit off. Some of y'all could also be cutting off an air sign, walking forward confidently, ending the cycle to move into another one. Okay. Why is the justice card here? Yeah. So some of you guys could be. Uh, there could be defenses. Some of y'all could be arguing, fighting in the marriage, feeling, feeling the need to. Someone feels the need to be. Someone could be being defensive or feeling as if they have to stand up for themselves during this time. And it has to do with them feeling like this, with this four of cups here. It has to do with this four of cups vibration. Someone is lacking self-esteem. I'm also hearing comparison again. So either this person is comparing you to the past or you're comparing this person to the past. But I definitely see a soulmate situation. Okay, so someone is resisting a soulmate. Could be involving a Gemini. Why is the lovers here? Hmm. But some of you all, this has to do with reconciling with the cancer. Okay? For some of you all, this has to do with movement forward, someone coming back to reconcile, possibly in a family situation, or reconcile due to family. Some of y'all, this could be due to a child here. Fire sign, cancer. Okay. Yeah. So I was going to clarify the moon card, but the eight of rods actually fell on top of the six of swords, the ace of wands, and the four of swords. So someone is definitely wanting to travel or move. You could live a distance between you and another person. Y'all, it is a lot of fire and air in this reading. Some of y'all could definitely be starting something new with the fire sign, moving away from a fire sign and start something with an air sign. Vice versa. Take it how y'all know y'all damn busy. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon? Yeah. Some of you guys could be offering a cup of love or receiving a cup of love, possibly, or some type of renewal, restart um, around a situation that involves a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I do see it's going to be after some type of revelation. Like someone has been not open, not vulnerable with their feelings, how they feel. So there's this sense of there's this lacking of confidence because you don't know what the fuck this person feels. But I'm hearing know that know that know that things will end for the best for the best. OK, so, yeah, for some of you all, I got the seven of swords clarifying the strength card with the eight of wands. OK, so some of y'all could be leaving, could be moving away from a Leo. A Leo is wanting to move away from you. This could have to do with somebody. Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign. Someone who you and somebody could be also sneaking back and forth with somebody who they got children with for money. Some of y'all could also be finding that out, which helps you in the cycle. This person could be. Yeah, this person could have children with the possibly a water sign. Somebody could also be connecting with someone from their past, offering a cup of love. For some of y'all, this is where you're supposed to fucking be, okay? Or where, they, where your partner is supposed to be.
some of y'all, this has to do with the twin flame reconnection, a divine partnership. So there is a lot of divine intervention I see here, which is why there's a need for you guys to gain a greater understanding and let go of all them feelings. Don't take the feelings. Take the lessons that you've learned. For some of y'all, there is victory with a situation that involves the Pisces. But I feel like for some of you all, you're feeling as if this person is going to reject you. Some of y'all, this person could be had okay. So, so for some of you all, things are not going the way that you wanted them to in a particular family setting, okay? And I feel like you want to start new or another person wants to start new. But somebody is turning somebody the fuck around. I, I'm hearing why now? Why now? OK, so there's definitely trust issues in a situation. I definitely see that some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant. Somebody in your energy could be pregnant. Some of you all could also be receiving some type of closing or some type of information regarding a business loan or a business. Money matters looks good for you guys this year. If you can I mean, this year, for this month, if you could just get out of your damn head. Some of y'all feel stuck in situations when it comes to your, your money. I tell anybody, when you're in karmic situations where you're supposed to free yourself and move forward, look to your money. If your money is not growing and you don't see growth, it's because you were supposed to take a lesson and keep it moving. Some of y'all have an issue with letting go. Your soul contract has to do with letting go, making a move, and actually trusting in the unknown. Some of y'all, there is victory moving forward, possibly with the Virgo. Or some of y'all are just victoriously moving forward by your damn self after light is shed on the situation. And then, boom, there goes the shmani. Trust your intuition, okay? Trust yourself. Because for some of you all, you're starting to notice that things are not growing when it comes to your money. All that you have been invested in, you don't see the, the growth. And some of y'all are knowing that you need to cut a situation the fuck off. You are another person. However, yeah, because someone wants to keep their damn options open. And someone feels as if another person have options. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And some of you all feel as if someone who you want to have a family with or someone who um, could be the mother or father of your children. Someone you see you see someone as a stable option, but for some of you all you feel as if this person has a lot of options. You could be dealing with an Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So there's this indecision that one sits in, which keeps another person confused because someone's not making a decision. Yeah, I definitely see some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign. And some of you guys could be finding out that there, some of y'all could be wanting to reconcile a situation or this fire sign wants to reconcile a situation due to there being children, a resurrected, resurrected situation, something that you thought was dead. And one person is, I feel like, defense, defensive or resistant that cycle, okay? This person could also just be focused on their work, focused on their craft, focused on what it is that they're trying to deal. I got the emperor and the empress here on the board, y'all. So this definitely has to do with divine counterparts. The masculine, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Some of y'all could be making a decision regarding releasing the resistance and releasing the person or renewing the situation possibly with the mother and father of your children. This could have to do with the Pisces, Aries, Libra, um, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini picked up over here. But truth is, I do see a, a situation being someone speaking their truth and laying a situation to rest. All right. So I definitely see that things are going to become move very swift for you guys, but there's a need for you guys to master that with yourself because I definitely feel like, yeah, someone's charging in with their truth and letting somebody know. Why do I see a clock? Somebody feels as if they're running out of time, okay? But there's a need for you guys to let go of the burdens around the worry. Let go of the worry around the burdens that you're carrying because some of that shit ain't even your, that's not your part because it's blocking your manifestations. And some of you all are going to be enlightened by this. Some of y'all, there's some type of uh, tower moment coming in around in Aquarius as well. Okay? So you guys let me know how this resonates because, baby, that was interesting. All right? Um, If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. I send you all much love, much light, many blessings, and I'll see you guys mid-July. Mm. Bye, booze.